you reach a time in your life where you should be doing more things and then she has to come across this big, big challenge. Not many people know about Lou Gehrig's disease, which is also known as ALS, but one Fort Myers resident who has this terminal illness is speaking up in hopes of raising awareness. He was falling a lot. His hand curled. He couldn't talk. Debbie cared for her ailing brother during his losing battle against ALS. And just a year and a half later, she too was diagnosed. Slowly but surely, the disease is taking its toll on her once athletic body. That's as far as I can go. The hand that used to coach gymnastics to kids for over 30 years is in the process of curling up forever. Her foot, without her brace, will no longer be able to support her. I took off the bracelet and I fell on the tile. And even with regular speech therapy, she's slowly losing her ability to speak. I have a little slur with my S's. You can hear that. Eventually, she will lose all of her strength, mobility, and even her ability to breathe. It's hard. It's probably the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Chris has been Debbie's best friend since middle school, and she, along with a group of Debbie's former students, are standing by her side. We love you, and we're going to help you through this. Debbie and her friends are organizing a family-friendly fundraising event at Lakes Park on Sunday, February 3rd. They hope to gather more support from the community as well as raise awareness of this deadly disease. I refuse to let this disease take a hold of me. If you'd like more information on Debbie's current condition, you can log on to myspace.com slash friends of Debbie Rowe and even add her to your friends list. Reporting for the News Press in Fort Myers, I'm Christine Lee.